Extreme heat is responsible for more weather related deaths in the US than any other hazard. And that's why health experts are urging everyone to take precautions. ABC 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala is live in Poway, where some people are still hitting the hiking trails. Mimi? And the people that we spoke to today say they came prepared for this hot day. And doctors encourage anyone who's outside for a prolonged period of time, whether that's for work or hiking, to pack at least twice the amount of water that they normally would. Anthony Biondo is an avid hiker. He came prepared for Thursday's heat in Poway as he took on Iron Mountain Trail. Yeah, I brought a liter of water in my camel pack with a PNG electrolyte blend and then um, just extra water here for on the way down. He says the breeze up and down the trail helped him cool off, though it was hot, reaching about 90 by the afternoon. San Diego County's heat wave is expected to last through the end of the work week. Biondo encourages other hikers to know their limits. If you've never been on the trail before, pace yourself. You can always come back and push harder the next time. The rising temperatures could mean more people seeing heat-related illnesses if they're out in the sun for too long. Make sure that we are well hydrated and try to avoid as much as possible outdoor during the heat peak. Dr. Kaveh Bamanpour with Sharp Community Medical Group says people with underlying health issues, the elderly and children, are especially vulnerable during these heat waves when it comes to heat strokes. He says heat strokes happen when your internal core temperature reaches 104 to 105 degrees and your body can't cool itself back down. Essentially, this starts with like headache and being a little bit sleepy and not feeling well, lethargy, and then it can go all the way to nausea, vomiting. Other signs include when sweating has stopped, but you're still feeling hot, dizziness, rapid heartbeat and confusion. Dr. Bamanpour encourages people to hydrate immediately and seek medical care if you do experience those symptoms. You might not feel anything during those hours when you're under the sun. The problem is after you go home after a few hours, then you feel that you have headache and you have body ache. Also, when it comes to walking your dogs, it's encouraged to do that early in the morning or later on in the day when it does start cooling off and to touch the ground with the back of your hand to make sure it's not too hot for their little paws. We're live in Poway, Mimi Alcala, ABC 10 News. Yeah, we all need to think about it. Thank you, Mimi. And